Hi, this is Lisa Nelson from eNutrition. I help you lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and lose weight. Today I want to talk to you about the supplement L-carnitine. This is probably a supplement you've never heard of, but when supplemented along with coenzyme Q10, substantial benefits have been seen in individuals with heart disease. So what is L-carnitine? L-carnitine is a compound produced by the liver and kidneys from the biosynthesis of the amino acids lysine and methionine. To form L-carnitine, you also need adequate levels of vitamin C, B6, niacin, and iron. How L-carnitine works? Well, the powerhouse of your cells is the mitochondria, and it produces the energy your heart needs to function. L-carnitine is responsible for transporting fatty acids to the mitochondria for energy production. The heart typically gets 60% of its energy from fat sources. If this process is slowed due to a lack of L-carnitine, heart function is affected. Those with moderate to severe atherosclerosis, which is the hardening of the arteries due to inflammation and cholesterol deposits, and, in, and individuals with congestive heart failure, are most affected by a deficiency of L-carnitine. To make matters worse, damaged heart tissue has a hard time holding on to L-carnitine, resulting in a deficiency. So when do you know to supplement L-carnitine? Well, if you remember back to the information I shared on coenzyme Q10, coenzyme Q10 directly affects energy production in the mitochondria. Now, if you did not receive the information on coenzyme Q10, you can go to my blog, which is www.lisanelsonrd.com forward slash blog, and do a search for coenzyme Q10. So when coenzyme Q10 levels are low, Cells are unable to produce energy, meaning the heart lacks the fuel it needs to pump blood. About 85% of individuals with heart disease respond positively to coenzyme Q10 supplementation and see significant improvements. However, about 10-15% to 15 of individuals do not see any, any improvements from the addition of coenzyme Q10. Now, researchers have learned that the missing link for these individuals is L-carnitine. The combination of L-carnitine and coenzyme Q10 is needed for these individuals to experience the additional energy boost and improved heart function. Let me see if I can make this easier to understand. In order for the heart to pump blood, it needs fuel. This fuel is produced in the mitochondria of your cells. The heart's preferred energy source is fatty acids. Coenzyme Q10 is needed for the production of fuel within the mitochondria. L-carnitine is needed for the transport of fatty acids to the mitochondria. People with heart disease are deficient, well most people with heart disease are deficient of coenzyme Q10 and benefit from supplementation. Some individuals with heart disease are also deficient in L-carnitine and will only see improvements if coenzyme Q10 and L-carnitine are supplemented together. Now even though your body can reduce L-carnitine, deficiencies do occur. A deficiency can be caused by aging, vegetarian diets, diets deficient in iron, diets low in vitamin B6, niacin, and vitamin C, liver disease, kidney disease, and certain medications, such as anticonvulsant drugs. Combined supplementation of L-carnitine and coenzyme Q10 have improved many cardiovascular situations, such as angina, congestive heart failure, renal insufficiency, arrhythmia, hyperlipidemia, and leg cramps. A leading cardiologist, Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra, recommends supplementing 250 to 750 milligrams of L-carnitine daily for prevention. While there are no known side effects from supplementing L-carnitine, you should always discuss all supplements with your physician. I'd love to have you subscribe to the Heart of Health Easing, where I provide regular heart health and weight loss tips. When you subscribe, you'll also receive the free report, Stop Wasting Money, Take Control of Your Health. To sign up today, go to www.hearthealthwithlisa.com. Thanks for listening. This is Lisa Nelson, your online nutrition coach.